We have more perspective tonight on the development in the Rust movie set shooting case. Again, prosecutors have dropped charges against actor and producer Alec Baldwin. It's just the latest development. KOB4 legal expert Ahmad Asad is here with us. Ahmad, thank you. Hi, Tom. This surprised many after everything prosecutors have said. Are you surprised by this? Um, quite surprised and shocked at the developments that unfolded in the past few months, quite frankly. Um, somewhat uh, disappointed in terms of the process, quite frankly. There were a lot of strong statements made that Baldwin's behavior was reckless, according to prosecutors. They are saying that there are some new facts. We take that to mean potential evidence. What do you make of this development that led them to drop the charges? Well, what it makes for me is that this newest team, uh, special prosecutors, are have some credibility moving forward. They're looking at the evidence in the case. And potentially, the evidence itself is uh, uh, material and relevant to the elements necessary for the state to establish uh, the involuntary manslaughter charge. So I, I, um, you know, I applaud them for taking the time to look at it. But I think the evidence is significant. Yeah, they're saying they are going to keep investigating. They're not just dropping the charges and saying, well, we got to figure this out. Is that common? It is. You'll never, it's very rare that you find a dismissal with prejudice. So this is, uh, this is a dismissal without prejudice, giving the benefit of an investigation in the event that there is evidence that's revealed down the road that um, makes it worthy for charging Mr. Baldwin with either lesser included offenses or other charges. You want to leave the door? Or open always prosecutors. always uh, it, what are the chances in a case like this the prosecutors do refile the same charges after an investigation it's going to depend on the significance of the evidence in my opinion um, it, it appears that this particular piece of evidence uh, the modification if, it, if that is uh, the evidence modification of, of this of the, gun, of the gun prior to mr. Baldwin even handling uh, the the arm uh, on the set is a significant one. Quite frankly, I don't know whether they can come back from that. And his claim was always that he didn't pull the trigger. He said that publicly. And he may be telling the truth. Yeah. Is this embarrassing for New Mexico, given how high profile this is? I would tell you that I expected more, especially in light of the fact that we all we heard of uh, is this intensive investigation that was ensued by the district attorney's office. So I'm quite disappointed. You know, it seems like that there was this uh, this uh, the, the uh, number of steps that uh, were, that were problematic from the very beginning. But I think that this new uh, special prosecutors, Karen Morris and Mr. Lewis, they have some credibility uh, and they're looking at the facts and that's what the taxpayers want uh, but uh, quite frankly to find ourselves in this position months after the hype that we saw is disappointing and you mentioned taxpayers a lot of taxpayer money went toward this investigation they asked for more funding that's right. from the state legislature what do we look for next in this case are we gonna potentially hear again from prosecutors regarding Baldwin I think that they're there they must uh, come to a decision and it must be public. Uh, most of this has been transparent to the public. So once they've concluded that evidence and, and gone into the potential forensic evidence and they've concluded uh, uh, enough evidence to make a decision, we'll hear about it. Is there a timetable that Alec Baldwin and the public can expect here, or is it open? I don't think it's going to be quick. I think it may be in the in the form of weeks, maybe months, uh, but I think that it's not going to be too much longer. In the meantime, we await the the rest of the case playing out for the armor in this case, and a good to hear as read. Amad Asad, thank you so much. It's a pleasure, Tim. Thank yeah. you. Let's go back to Eddie. Thanks.